Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Long time no see. I've been out on vacation for about a week, but I'm back now, so woo! Today, I'm going to be releasing something that isn't actually mine, and it's from a YouTube channel called AI Explained, where it's called Smart GPT. So this is a proposed model to get better results from GPT-4 using chain of thought reasoning and some other um, certain agents, like um, you can, I guess you can call it researcher and resolver. But I'd recommend going, watch, going to watch that video first before you come over to this video. But if you kind of already understand what's going to happen, I will go over the model and explain how I coded it and how you can get your hands on it to use it. So you will need Python for this. You'll need Python, most likely Git, and some, yeah, and VS Code. So I'll leave a link down below in the description where I show you how you can install all of those. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the code. I did have one interesting thing though that I did want to show you guys and that is this question here which is I left five clothes out to dry out in the sun and it took them five hours to dry completely. How long would it take to dry 30 clothes? So this was a question used as an example in the video for how smart GPT is actually better than uh, vanilla GPT-4 which is chat GPT and you know chat GPT actually got the question half and half correct so um, in my testing with my implementation of smart GPT, it wasn't getting them correct. So uh, this is leads me to some doubts that maybe I implemented it incorrectly. But let's just go ahead and um, head on over to the code and I'll show you what I have done. So um, here I have um, all of the code and I've got uh, let's just go over to the main function. So. Here I just have some simple user logic things. These are just command line things. Um, so asking what the question is, how many outputs you want, uh, so on and so forth. And then the main logic of it is going to be an initial outputs phase, a, re a researcher phase, and then a resolver phase. So these initial outputs are what Philip says in his video as the outputs from the initial question. So those are the three outputs um, that you could see in his diagram of the video. Researcher is the one that provides any flaws or faults in the previous three answers. And then the resolver is the one that decides which of the three answers is the best improves upon that answer and then outputs that answer. As I said, you probably want to watch Philip's video before you um, run through this if you want to understand it fully. Um, if not, you can always just run the code and just ask questions. There are some other things that I implemented a little bit different um, for this to just kind of see how it works. And I think it is um, interesting that it works this way. So let's just scroll up, up ahead to the initial outputs. Um, so here is the initial outputs and here is the prompt that Philip uh, was using in the video. And the interesting thing that I decided to do was use different models. So probably for benchmarking purposes, you probably want to use the same model. However, for cost efficiency purposes, um, GPT 3.5 is way cheaper than GPT 4. So I wanted to see if I could use GPT-3 to produce the outputs and then have GPT-4 improve upon those so that it's cheaper. And I did find that you can use GPT-3 to produce some outputs. Um, and then you could also use GPT-3 as the researcher as well, um, the one that lists the flaws and faults um, of the questions or of the answers. Um, but for the resolver, you want to use GPT-4 because that is the one that is deciding which one, which answer is the least faulty and then improving upon the answer. So you want that one to be the smartest. I did find that there is some issues sometimes with the researcher though because of all of the tokens that it's receiving. So um, GPT-3, the 4K token limit might not be long enough for all of the answers and all of the um, previous prompts if you have a lot of um, content in there. So, you know, it might fault out if you're not using GPT-4. So that is one thing that might happen. For these functions, those are the only things that you can prob uh, you should probably change or what model you're using. So I'm going to show you how I use the initial outputs uh, with GPT-3, the researcher with GPT-3, and then the resolver with GPT-4. So um, there's another function here, which is final output, but uh, I took this out and this one was supposed to be a G another GPT agent that selected the correct answer or the um, the improved answer from the resolver, but I found it to be a little glitchy. So 
I just took it out. All right, so with that explanation out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and just run the code as I think that is the easiest way to understand how this works. And let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click F5. And one additional modification that I did was uh, change the number of outputs that you can specify. So um, I limited it from one through four. Um, the more outputs that you produce, probably the more variation and maybe the more correct uh, more possibility of having a correct answer pop up but also it increases the token limit uh, or the amount of tokens that you use therefore possibly faulting out or you know just costing more money so we're going to go ahead and use three which is what philip used in his video and then we're going to go ahead and use that question that i had earlier um, so I left five closed out to dry in the sun. It took the five hours to dry completely. How long would it take to dry 30 close? We're going to head, we're going to go ahead and send that. And it's going to show you here. Um, I just did a little bit of fancy coloring and all that fun stuff. So process starting, um, currently it is generating the answers. So it's one fourth of the way complete. So it's throwing all of the answers into the open AI API right now using GPT three. And then we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish up. And here we are on um, the researching part. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again because I had put a breakpoint. So now it's going to research the answer. This is two fourths of the way or halfway through. All right. And then the next one is three resolving the answers. So it's almost done. Now it's using the GPT-4 prompt to come out with the improved answer. And then it's going to spit it out into the terminal. So let me just go ahead and open this up a little bit more so that we can see the answer. And we'll see if it got the question correctly or not. Alrighty, so here it is finished. Uh, here is the resolved response. Um, it's got three steps. Step one, step two. Uh, it says answer three. Um, step two, improve the chosen answer. And then improve answer three. Alright, so let's see what it does here. Uh, okay, print the answer in, in full. If it took five hours to dry the clothes, then it took one hour to dry one close. Five equals one hour per close. Okay, and so here we can see that it did get the answer incorrect in this case where um, it's saying it's taking one hour per cloth or one piece of clothing. And you know, this is the incorrect answer, which is very strange because it gave me the correct answer in ChatGPT. Um, so I don't know if they're improving the model or it gave me a half answer in ChatGPT. Um, and so that is that question. And I have one last part where it tells me the tokens that I use. So I use eight cents for this query. And that's because GPT-4 uses you know, six cents per thousand tokens, as you can see the numbers here. Um, and yeah, so this doesn't for me in my experimenting hasn't been giving me correct answers for this question here, um, which is the the drying one for whatever odd reason. So I'm not sure if maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I will go ahead and just ask the question one more time in GPT-4 here um, and we'll let that run. But but that is just for that one question. I haven't been super thorough in the testing. I kind of just coded it and just want to share it just in case anybody wants to get their hands on it to try it out as well. Um, I do think that my implementation of it is relatively correct. Um, so what it does is it does is it takes the outputs um, and then it returns the outputs into a concatenated um, message. So a, a long string where it has all of the text in it. And then it just feeds all of that into the researcher and then the resolver, which is what I think was being done in um, the video. So, and so if you want any more information on what these functions do, do, you can actually look at the doc strings that I have provided up here. You can also as well, if you wanna take a look at what the responses are doing, you can uncomment these, um, you can uncomment these print print lines right here, which will print out the response and at each at each step of the way. But I uncommented them so that uh, we only see the question and then the ending answer at the end. So let's just go ahead and head on over to uh, GPT chat GPT again. And you got the question right again. So, you know, that's that's funny um, in your scenario of five close to I me mean, because so if you are drying 30 clothes under similar conditions. They should take about five hours. See, it got it correct again. So I'm not sure what is happening with smart GPT. Um, the, 
Um, and I did even try this by, I did try this with all GPT-4. Uh, let me just go ahead and run it again with all GPT-4 and I'll show you that. So here I'm just changing it to GPT-4, uh, GPT, GPT-4, and I have GPT-4 here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that. We're going to do three outputs and then we're going to do the same question. And I'll be back to that one um, when it's done. But as you can see, uh, ChatGPT got this question correct once again. Um, and if we run it through 3.5, of course, it's going to get this one incorrectly because it's going to do this um, calculation here. But logically, it's getting this correctly in ChatGPTs now. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe they had a new update of it more recently, but, you know, this is the May, th May 3rd version. Maybe the stuff that was being done in Philip's video right here was actually the... Um, not the May 3rd version and was instead the uh, March 14th version of it. So maybe that's why. But yeah, I'd have to do a little bit more testing to see if that is the case. But in any way, but in any case, I do feel like I've babbled on quite a bit. Um, so here is the here is the repository right here. So all you have to do is um, all you have to do is clone it. So you just clone it with the link here and then you you can just simply run it. So get clone, do the pip install requirements, and then set up your OpenAI keys uh, with, the, with the YAML. So make sure you delete that example. And then um, you should be able to just run it just fine. All right, and here it is done with all GPT-4 and that cost me a whopping 15 cents. So that is why I don't wanna use GPT-4 because if I can use GPT-3 for the, uh, the simpler stuff, the production of stuff, um, it should be cheaper, so. Uh, that adds up in the long run okay so let's see what it did here um step 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 using the drying rate of it would take 30 hours to dry 30 clothes so yeah i'm not sure what's happening here and why it's getting it incorrect um oh yeah there's one more thing i want to show you guys so let's head on over to the folder and i actually save all of the conversations so um this is something that I didn't go over, but I have a um, another function that saves all of the all of the previous conversations, um, all of the previous messages into a text file so you can read what the heck is happening. So here's the question. Um, here it is. Uh, assistant answer option one. Determine. OK, and then this is. Yeah, this is what the first answer gave. This is what the second answer gave, which is the, you know, the same incorrect answer. And then this is what the um, third answer gave. So here are the flaws um, that it gave. And these ones seem to be the exact same. And I'm just looking at these and these seem to be the exact same answers for each one. Um, and I know that the code isn't faulty because um, if I took a look at the previous one, um, the three answers are actually different. They actually have um, different different answers. So uh, this is the exact same thing. I just changed it from GPT-3 to GPT-4 for this la latest one. I'm actually not sure why this is happening. So my speculation is maybe the temperature is too low. So um, let me just go ahead and actually rerun this with a temperature of 1.0, which is actually pretty high. Um, here, actually, I'll do 0.8. Um, so it is a little bit more creative and we'll go ahead and run the same. Um, we'll go ahead and run this again and do the same thing. So we want to do three outputs and then we want to do oops, the same question. All right. And this last one was finished. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the um, synthesis of the answers. And so let's see. Question one. Step one. We know that five close takes five hours to dry completely. Okay, that one was, okay. Step two, determine the drying rate of the clothing. Okay, and then answer three was determine the relationship between that. So those are three different answers, which is much better than what I had before. So maybe having a temperature of 0 0.8 is a little bit better for different answers. But let's go ahead and take a look at the resolved response that it gave us here. So um, proved answer, understand factors. Um, and incorrect. So 
this one cost me 18 cents and it still gave me the incorrect answer for this um so i'm not sure what exactly is happening i might have to test this out for some other uh, questions other than this one for this one it just doesn't seem to be biting it's not getting the correct answer uh, but if you want to try it out like I said just go ahead and install the github repository and yeah that should be it and that's gonna be today's video I am very sorry if it was all over the place I kind of just want to just record this one I didn't have too much time to think about it but that is gonna be today's video for that uh, I am recording some other videos which is why I want to get this one out as soon as possible and yeah I'll see you guys in a future video and see you later.